Hello everybody, my name is Michael Kay and you may know me from either my ReplicaArrogance.com website and YouTube channel or my GetFitOver40.com, again website, YouTube channel, or even uh, more recently MrKnife.com and the YouTube channel for that uh, website as well. So I've been wanting to make this video for some time. I've got it all written down here because I don't want to miss a thing. I've really wanted to put my, uh, my thoughts into words here. And uh, you know, it is scripted, but hopefully um, you get the point. And so let's just get right to it because I know a lot of you have probably experienced troll activity on your websites or blogs, could be anything, could be a blog, could be Twitter, could be Facebook, could be YouTube. But I'm addressing this with a YouTube video. And so, you know, sometimes it just feels like it's a no-win situation when you deal with trolls. And this is uh, a concept here I have that I'm hoping uh, people will potentially go by and start to initiate. So let's talk about this. What to do about trolls on your YouTube channel or channels if you have more than one. This video is going to go on all my YouTube channels. Like I said, I feel that trolls on the internet in general are a real parasite and they don't serve any positive purpose. Similar to a parasite in your body, I feel the best course of action is to remove that parasite as quickly as possible. All right. I ask that if you like this message, also favorite it, like and get the word out about this video. First off, let's find out like what is a troll. Some of you may not even know what a troll is or you've never heard it or you've heard the word troll, you're just not really sure exactly what it is. So let's talk about what it is. Wikipedia says, a troll is a person who sows discord on the internet by starting arguments or upsetting people by posting inflammatory, extraneous or off topic messages in an, ups, in an online community such as a news group, forum, chat room, or blog, and again, could be YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, with the deliberate intent of provoking readers into an emotional response or otherwise disrupting normal on-topic discussions, so disrupting healthy discussions. To also make one thing very clear, this is not about censorship. It is about respect and consideration towards others. I have no problems with alternative opinions but will not put up with abusive and, derogator and derogative content of any sort on my YouTube channel or other areas that I happen to have any type of discussion. Now what makes a person a troll in the first place? So why do these people exist? How did they come about? Why do they act this way? What's behind the troll mindset? Now keep in mind, my intention is not to stoop to the level of the troll and call them names and get them all angry or get angry with them. After all, I strongly believe we should in a way feel sorry for them and my hope here is to re-educate the troll by not encouraging their negative behavior. So in other words, if they want to play with all the other kids in the playground, then they need to learn to play nicely. So here's some possible reasons why trolls lash out towards others. Maybe they have a small penis. If it's a woman troll, maybe they have lopsided breasts. I mean, it could be physical, right? We don't know. Maybe they didn't get enough love growing up as a small child. You know, that nurturing from the mother. Maybe they just had a dad and he was kind of, you know, angry and bitter. Maybe they don't feel they are attractive or accepted by others in society. You know, some people are beautiful, got big ankles, and that's all they fixate on. And that could be the, the root of the problem. We don't know. Maybe they were bullied in school. And so now they need to bully others to feel good about themselves. Maybe they just didn't learn correct social skills from their parents or guardians. You know, both parents working these days, television's their, their, their educator, right? And you know, what we see on TV is pretty, pretty brutal, right? So uh, it could be so many reasons for this. So why do we want to remove trolls from your YouTube channel? Why would you want to do this? Now, this could be other internet social media situations. So do you, you know, it's content. Some people might view this as, we've got comments, I'm getting more comments. But why do you want this uh, off of your channel? Think of your YouTube channel as if it were your home. Would you let a visitor in your home call you names, put you down, be disrespect disrespectful to you, or your family or friends in your own house? What would you do about that? I know personally, if someone came and disrespected me, my family, my friends, I would grab them by the scruff, kick them out, they would never be invited back in, right? That's what I would do. Think of a troll as if he was a small child playing with your kids and your friends' kids. Would you put up with bullying, talking mean, pushing and so on? Would you let that kid bully your kids, talk mean, or would you do something about it, right? 
what would you do? Your YouTube channel is your house on the internet, so to speak. You have built up and nurtured it to what it is today. And some of you have grown phenomenal YouTube channels. I mean, just huge or multiple channels. And it's maybe even become a livelihood for you. So do you want these trolls on there? Why would you let some of these trolls take over and control and undermine your YouTube channel? Now, how to deal with trolls on the YouTube channel, on your YouTube channel specifically? First off, don't engage the troll. That would be reinforcing their negative behavior. Similar to a child who tells you that he hates you because you wouldn't give him the candy, right? The child is just angry and he's acting on his emotions. It's not about you, right? So don't make it about you. Again, the problem is probably deep-rooted within the troll and most likely needs some sort of psychological help. It is not your job to be his therapist or her therapist. Now separate the troll from others who are playing nicely by making him, I guess, an outcast, so to speak, right? Segregating him from the rest. Use the YouTube block from channel feature, which blocks that troll from making any further comments on your channel. Problem solved. It takes way less time than commenting back and spending some all that time typing up a, a smart ass remark back. Don't even waste your time. Over time, if the troll does not get response back from people he is attacking, he will start to get the message that this type of activity is just not acceptable. Remember, the troll is looking for any type of response from you. You may think you are giving that troll a piece of your mind, but he is really getting energized by your emotionally heated response. You could say a troll gets off on this type of thing. Do you want to be that person getting the troll off? Really? I don't think so. All right, it's pretty simple. Just don't put up with trolls. If we all simply block and ban trolls from making these negative and disruptive comments on our YouTube channels, they will simply have to find another avenue or venue to go to, okay? They may even learn from this experience and perhaps become better people. We can always hope. Now, if you like, you could even respond to the troll activity on your YouTube channels by sending them this video link right here. That way, the brunt of their negativity will be directed at this video. And I don't mind, I don't mind blocking and deleting them. I can do that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Please spread the word, my YouTube friends, and remember to love thine enemy. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I kind of enjoyed putting it together. Take it seriously if you want. I kind of do. I mean, there's a serious side to it. There's also a kind of mocking, have, have fun with it side. So talk to you next time. And again, check out my other channels. We got getfitover40.com replicaarrogance.com and mrknife.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.